the jewels, but most of all, me being the wife of a king. But I'm just a peasant girl and a Jewish one at that. How could I ever be a queen? But it's right here in this decree. My uncle Mordecai told me that tomorrow he would be taking me to the palace. You see, the king had made a feast for all the nobles of the land. And he showed them the riches of his kingdom. And then, when the king's heart was merry from the wine, he called for Queen Vashti to be brought in so he could show the nobles her beauty and the royal crown. But you know what? The queen refused to come. And this made the king very angry. So after much counsel, he had this decree written that said that women are to honor their husbands and that the men should rule over their own house. The decree also says that Queen Vashti's rural estate would be given to another that is better than she. It says that all the young virgins should be brought to the palace, and then the maidens that pleases the king would be the queen instead of Vashti. Oh, how will I... I don't have much to bring. Hey, tonight we're going to look into the life of Esther and how God, working through her, changed the lives of God's people. There was a king named Xerxes who gave a banquet for all his nobles and officials. The celebration was a tremendous display of his wealth and majesty. When King Xerxes was in high spirits because of the wine, he told his nobles to bring Queen Vashti. To stop playing these games. We need One night with the king. Your Highness, I'll tell you how. Go on. It's 
my duty to inform you and if I'm correct To ignore this great emergency would be neglect It's the motto of my office Surf and protect There are those who walk among us who show no respect Really? And all must be adjusted There are those who can't be trusted Oh my goodness, well, tell me about these people Sneaky little family who do sneaky little things Who stick their sneaky noses into matters of the king I fear if they're not dealt with The prospect makes me weep I'm all church down What are we gonna do? God, is this really my destiny? God, did you really bring me to the kingdom for such a time as this? Why me, God? Why me? Surely a God that is as powerful and as mighty as you would not let this wicked Haman destroy the Jews. They are my people. They are your people. They're your chosen people. But to go before the king without first being called, that's just crazy. That's just asking for my death. But God, if this is really my destiny, if you've called me to the kingdom for such a time as this, God, I pray, grant me the peace and the safety that I need. God, I pray, God, grant me the favor that I need with the king. God, save me. God, save our people, God. At the throne, leave me there alone. Chef arrives with wedding cake. 150. King stands up to eat cake. Ooh, this is a good one. Excitement. Drama. 151. The king's life is saved by the guard Mordecai. 152. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say Mordecai saved my life? He's that little great with the mustache, right? Uh, yep. Mordecai, huh? Did we ever do anything to thank him for that? For the people's pain. Afterward. Haman hurried home completely humiliated. So, it was now time for the king and Haman to go to the queen's banquet. The king again said to Esther, What is your request? I will give it to you, even if it's half the kingdom. Then Esther said, If I have found favor with the king, I ask that my life and the lives of my people be spared. For my people and I are going to be killed. Who would do such a thing, King Xerxes demanded? Who would be so bold as to even touch you? Esther replied, This wicked Haman is. Praise you, God, you are so faithful. I praise you, Lord, that I found favor with the king. I was so scared to go before him, but you went before me. When he held out his scepter, I knew then that any petition that I brought before the king would be answered. Oh God, your grace is so sufficient. Now that that wicked Haman is dead and Mordecai has been given his rightful reward, my people, your people are safe. Our enemy has been conquered. But this decree... The decree, it can't be reversed. What are we going to do? Well, there's only one thing that I can do. I must go before the king this one last time and ask him to reverse the decree that was written by Haman. The king will know what to do, and God, you will not fail me. I pray, God, grant me this one last petition to find favor with the king this one last time. God save me. God save me. Take me to the king. In Jeremiah 29 11, the Bible says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. So now I'm about to invite you all to come up here and get a crown to help you remember God's promise. We're going to start with the youngest. Y'all go get a green. We're going to start with you guys. Wait just a minute. And then you'll go downstairs and get 
I believe we have ice cream in the kitchen. Yes. No strength to fight. 